they get me lots of questions as to what myself and my great partner are doing. We're on year one this year. what we're doing and what's working really well for us. And we've also got some really great feedback about it, so I thought I'd share that with you. At this point, it's really important to think about what's best for you and for your children. So when I think grade one, I think, okay, probably not best live for kindergarten, year one and year two, unless they've been given that before by you and sh showed, shown how to do it, then that's probably not the best way at this point because everyone's just getting used to it. So it needs to be small, simple steps, something that the kids can follow kind of by themselves or something that just requires a little bit of parent help. Now, they are having to attend live meetings, such as Zoom meetings, Skype meetings, everything like that. So is it really the best way that we put our students on live meetings as well? I'm not sure about that. They'll need help getting connected. If it drops out, they won't know how to fix it. Also, when I'm doing a teaching video, I want my students to pause when they need some time to complete the dictation or the activity and then be able to start again. It's really important that these videos are also a bank for them to return to for later activities. So think about what's best for your children, but also for their parents at this tricky time. sure that a lot of you are already familiar about that um, platform. We use Class Dojo more to communicate with parents, but now they've actually come out with a platform where they are allowing children to have portfolios. And what we do is whatever uh, activities they complete, they can take a picture of it and pop it up on their portfolio for us to see. That means the marking's not crazy, the parents are able to have a look at their work and we can have a look at their work and just write a comment instead of going through every single thing on that piece of work. So we started by creating a PowerPoint for each step. Now that PowerPoint is not just a whole lot of information. Our PowerPoints include YouTube links of us actually teaching in action. So we've created our own YouTube channel as teachers and we are both able to access that YouTube channel to pop more videos up of teaching. So the really great thing about our YouTube channel is we pop our videos up there straight from the phone and I'll show you how to do that uh, later. And then we are able to set them as private. So what we do is we get the shareable link from our video on the YouTube channel pop it into our PowerPoint like you would any other YouTube link, and then the parents have that. If they have that link, then they are only able to access that. The general public cannot access the link. The great thing we found about using PowerPoint was their audio selection. So what you can do is on PowerPoint now, you, if you go to insert, you can actually I insert an audio and that means that a little box pops up and you can just record your voice reading the slide or reading the information on the slide and then stopping it. Now that's really great for our children because they don't have to call mum or dad to read out what the activity is that they need to do. They can go ahead, listen to our voice, read out the activity for them and complete it. YouTube channel, get your login and your password. What you need to do after that is actually so it's really easy to start your own YouTube channel. What you need to do is sign up first for YouTube channel. Then what I found is to download the app on your actual phone. So just your YouTube app. 
up in the options when you open up your YouTube app, there will be uh, an option to actually sign in. Sign in to your channel, which is a username and password that you use to sign up with. Then when you get onto your channel, you'll see a little video recording icon in the top right hand corner. If you go to that icon, you'll have the preference of either doing a video or you'll find your gallery of videos. That's what I use and I just click on the video that I've taken and I want to use, upload it to my YouTube channel and there you have it. Now when you do that, there is then an option next to your YouTube video that has a little uh, dot, dot, dot. You press on that one, like a more options tab, and it will say shareable link. Copy and paste that link from your video into your PowerPoint slides, and there you have it. Live action of you teaching. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Bye for now. with home learning. At the end of the day, we are all learning and so are the kids and the parents. It can be hard for all of us, but if we support each other, then we'll get through it together. Well done to all the teachers out there starting to plan for home learning.